how do people it's Jake Vapes at it again this time with a lovely product from Nevox. This is the Paggy Paggy. Not quite sure how you see it. So this is how she comes. Whoops. Let me drop the box there. So you can see all the specs there if you do want to screenshot and read them back. But basically that is the design colour I've gone for. It is a 950 milliampage of power. Oh, oh, beast beastly um so not quite the full 1000 don't know why they went for 950 but you know it is what it is so here you go i have the lovely sort of carbon fiber slash black effect got the button just there and then the screen on the other side now what else do you get in the box of goodies well we'll be pleased to know a little uh, holder for the device so it doesn't rattle around too much. You also get the lovely USB charge cable. It is the USB-C to USB standard. You get the user manual and all that gibbons in there. So let's pop that away because no one's really interested in that. User manual is pretty simple. So if I quickly show you the device with the battery, uh, sorry, the battery, the screen facing forward, you can see it does show you the wattage. There you go, probably better at that angle right there. So you can see I've currently got it at 10 watts. <clears throat> it doesn't say the voltage, um, but it does say the ohmage. And it does say the puffs. I am at 556 so far. So let me just turn that screen back on. Now, you will see that the voltage does change. Is that going to focus on that? Do I need to do the angles? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to have that screen. Um, so it is hard to see. However, you can just auto draw. Flavor I'm getting from this is phenomenal. In the stock coils, yeah, you cannot beat it now. To put the pod in, literally like that. So fucking easy. Now, nah, excuse my excuse my French there, but literally, you just make sure that it lines up there. As you can see, there's a little cutaway, and then you're straight in. It's exactly the same with the stock coil pods. Um, however, this you may notice is a little different. Different, you may ask, what is different? Well, I've got the RBA pod in there. So you get an RBA coil, you get the drip tip and two sheets of cotton and two pre-built uh, 0.8 ohm coils. Lovely little baggie there and a screwdriver as well. Now, I don't know why they chose 0.8. I would have preferred a full ohm. You seem to get a better vapor from that. So I have got my own coils in there right now at one ohm. Looking inside, there is no seepage, leakage, seepage, no wet spots, etc. Slotter back in. Now, you may be wondering, there's a button on top. There's a button on the bottom. There's a little hole there. That is for your lanyard, if you choose to uh, wear it around your neck. As I know, a lot of vapors do like to have it dangling there so and grow it. Chuff away. Or, they can press the button on the side and fire it like that simple dimples now it has got a cool little feature so there is this button on top what does it do it increases the wattage and it does round robin so it will stop let's see at it stops at 18 watts for the pod and pre-built coil i've got in there however if i take the coil out i'm just gonna clock it and uh, it should Go all the way to 30. Let's see. Right, so we're now at 27, 28, 29, and 30. And then back to 1. Uh, back to 5, sorry, shall I say. Now, put the device back on top, the pod, shall I say. And then, if I try and go to 30, it won't let me. Here's a, here's a prime example. This, this, this will probably work better. So... I've got it at 27, it might look like 5L on there. Put in the pre-built, and then you can see it instantly dropped the wattage to 8, so that's what it's recommending. I've got it at 10. 
hits like a dream. As I said, 950 milliamp, rebuildable, so easy to build on. It is a little fiddly because it is so small, but there's nothing difficult about it other than having to, you know, if you've got fat sausage fingers, you may find it a bit of a difficulty. But look at that beauty. 950 milliamps of power is so small. And at 10 wattage, you're not going to see any issues with battery life, in my opinion. USB-C fast charge cable, as I said. There is the port on the side. Beautifully done. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the device. Um, there is no sort of, ah, what's the word, hidden menu, shall we say. It's uh, five clicks on the side button. And there you go, you see power on. That is the fire button. The top button is for the wattage adjustment little sneaky feature that you may not have noticed that is the airflow so the adjustable airflow plus and minus that is the hole there so in line with the shaft so the more open it is the more airflow and the more you twist either direction will restrict the airflow so on that bombshell guys that is the nevox apache i've been joe vapes hope you've enjoyed it <laughs>